Modeler tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up UVs for your model. So as you can see right here I have a very basic kind of shape just to give the basic demonstration of just a model. You know I didn't want to have to spend a whole bunch of time on something so this is simple enough to give the the basic idea. Alright so what you're gonna do is obviously you're gonna click your model make sure you have it selected and then in the UModeler window, you're going to go scroll down until it says UV. You're going to click that and then open UV Editor. You can actually do a couple of things in this menu, in the UV menu, but personally, I think the UV Editor is easier to use, so we'll be using that. Now, I'm going to scroll out real quick because this is this texture here that looks like a basic transparent texture. This is where your UVs need to be in the final product but they because this model's fairly big they won't end up in here at first so we're going to need to scroll out so we can be able to work with the larger uv faces of this model so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to shift scroll to make it quicker all right now that we are scrolled out enough we will be using the model here and we will be making some some UVs. One thing that I do wish is I think that scrolling out is a little bit tedious. I don't I don't know um if there's any other way of doing it, but I know for a fact that the U modeler developer is watching this. So, it would be great if you could scroll out easier because shift scrolling, especially depending on the size of the model, can be a little inconvenient. So, I I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, one thing that you can do, it's really cool, is you can actually basically have the UVs set up for you. Double click the face corresponding to the UV that you want. And as you can see when we do that, it will show up right here. And then we can just kind of go around clicking different parts of our model. And then it'll all automatically go here. And they're all kind of connected. So if I try to move one, it won't move. So this could be very helpful for like strategically placing your models. But let's just say I, I want to move one thing, right? Like I don't, I don't want this right here. Let's just say I don't want this right here. And instead, I want this side's texture for this face to be different than all these. So what I could do is I can just go over here, click detach. And then now we can move this around freely. And then we can go back, click that. And then we'll just go back through the model. Because let's say that I, I only want these sides to not share the texture, so. And now we have this line right here, which is basically every face on our model, except for this one and the one on the other side over here. So what we want to do is we want these very large pieces, these very large UV pieces, to be in this small area. And since all of these, we want them all to share the same texture, we can actually go and basically put them on top of each other. So I'm going to just detach all of them real quickly here. All right, so now that they're all detached, I can go and I can take the largest one. So this right here is the largest one, and I think that I can actually select all of these and click and make sure to click this one last and hit boundary right here and now all of them are in this boundary so we have this nice little box because all of them are going to share the same texture and now all we, and all of our UVs reside in this little box which again will all share the same texture so we can go over to the rectangle tool to scale that down to fit in our little UV area there. And now we can zoom in a little more. And as you can see, that's still a little big, so we will just go and scale that down a little more. All right, that looks good. Now that we've done that, we can go and deal with these two sides, which we, as we said earlier, will have a different texture. So we'll click that. So what I'm actually going to do to get these two is I'm going to use the unwrap tools for them. So I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to click 
our two sides here, which will not be sharing the same texture. And then in Unwrap, I'm going to click Plane. Then I'm just going to hit Unwrap. And then right here, you'll see they've been placed into our little box here. And we could just use this one method through our entire thing, but using the auto layout was good for this tutorial, so that's why I used it. So we will just try to kind of line them. And then with these, we'll do the same thing we did with this UV block here and we'll just click boundary and there now we have a nice UV perfect for modeling so we can take that out and then we could import this into something like Surforge and it would be pretty easy to deal with it now if we wanted to import this into Surforge we actually couldn't just drag this model right in what we have to do is we have to go and actually save this mesh so we'll just save this as and then we'll just type in the name. So let's just go mesh asset for surf. And then what we would do is we would drag the mesh into Surforge, not the not this whole model. I've personally had issues dragging the whole model into Surforge, but dragging in the mesh works fine. So yeah, I think uh, I think that's pretty much. The basics of UVs, there's obviously a lot more that you can do with UVs, but I'd say if you're just doing the basics of, you know, texturing and things like that, you don't really need to know any more than the basics, because I think that the others are there for, I'd say, more specific use cases. But I, I think everything in this tutorial should get you going where you need to go, especially if you're doing this as like a hobbyist or or if you just need UVs for texturing and stuff. This, this tutorial should work good for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will be doing some more pretty soon. So I'll see you in the next one.